Hi, welcome, welcome back. Let's talk about the time that I lived in Florida for two months. It sounded a lot better when I said it in my head. Yeah, let's talk about the time that I lived in Florida for two months, which is like three days ago. I got home like three days ago, right? Today's Sunday, I got home on Friday. Yeah, two days ago? Anyways, I just got home to Wisconsin. My home, this is where I live, I'm from Wisconsin. If you didn't know, kinda sucks here. Pretty much just like cows and grass and snow half the time. But besides that, it's not bad. It's like whatever, it's my home, it's where my family is. Don't hate it here, don't love it here, but it is what it is. So I went to Florida on March 8th and I was supposed to stay there until March 23rd, but then a worldwide pandemic kind of took over and I got back on May 1st. So Florida from March 8th through May 1st. This is the, the timeline. March 8th through May 1st. Let's talk about it. If you don't know who I am, you're probably confused. So my best friend, Marla Fay, lives in Florida. I met her through Instagram. I DM'd her one day and I was like, Hey girl, you're so pretty and cool. How do you have so many followers? I think she literally had like 4,000 followers. I maybe had like a thousand something at the time and I was like, how do you have that? So I don't know. I just sent her a DM and then the rest is history. I went to visit her for the first time last year in January. Fast forward to now, we've hung out. We've literally only hung out technically like five or six times because we live across the country. But those time spans have been like week long periods. But then this, last one was obviously two months anyways so i basically got stuck there but i kind of chose to be stuck there because i was in florida for like a week and my mom was like uh we think you need to come home or else you're gonna get stuck there because it's gonna be putting you and us at risk if you come home anytime but now and i was like you know what mom i think i want to stay here if it's okay with the Faye family i want to stay here so i checked if it was okay with them they were more than happy to have me and i'm so thankful that they let me stay for that long and <laughs> I don't know, everything was just working. Like Marla and I were vibing, we were helping each other with our issues and such. I'm gonna like get more into that, but... <laughs> when you reach your activity goal, let's talk about this little two month journey. exact date when we went technically into quarantine it was sometime like march 15th no it was definitely march 17th we left for the lake house which is where we thought it would be best to quarantine because who doesn't want to be stuck on a lake with a boat and two jet skis like that's just kind of heaven you don't actually have to stay in your house because you can just go on the boat and the jet skis and swim i'm so happy that i was able to be there and not in wisconsin where it was cold and snowing in march that's where we spent the first two or three weeks of our quarantine before before we dye the hair. Hey, where's the blender thing? Um we're making like a dull whip type smoothie. We called for literally three cups of pineapple, which is the whole bag. I'm gonna make a TikTok of the smoothie. Yeah. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> How the f do you you <laughs> that's our whole smoothie? Yeah. Take off the top. Okay, it's time to make my brownish blondish hair pink. Letting the CEO of pink hair dye my hair pink. <laughs> Little me. Scott was off. Yay. Feeling good. <laughs> like I should. Yeah. Oh God, why do I look like a lunch lady? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're crazy. Um, so we dyed the front two hair. hair. We dyed the front two strands of Marla's hair. <gasps> Sexy. Should I just put a little blue in mine? Yeah, just suck it. No! Oh. <laughs> 
So here's what our hair looks like before we blow dry it. I literally look like Lava Girl. Alright, my hair's all dry and done. It's kind of like hot pink Lava Girl vibes. If Sharky Boy and Lava Girl had a baby, I don't know. <laughs> And then that started getting old. So luckily, we were blessed and able to go to their house in the Keys. It was kind of like a nice little change of scenery. We could go on the boat on the ocean. We went paddle boarding one day and got chased by a crocodile. Literally like a 15-foot crocodile chased Merle and I on a paddle board. We would have been so iced if that crocodile would have caught us, but luckily we're so speedy on that paddleboard and we made it out alive. We spent like a week or two in the Keys and that was like such a fun change of scene. We rode around on the golf cart because they live in Ocean Reef Club, which is like a little island and it's like a little club. So it's kind of like own little town. People ride all around on golf carts. So that was like a really fun change of scenery. It was like really nice to get into like a different zone and kind of like be able to be productive in a different way. We spent Easter in the Keys which was really nice we had like a fun little Easter egg hunt and a nice dinner and we basically just made the best out of what we could do with Easter in the Keys we even like had Easter baskets which was so fun I don't know I just felt kind of like a little kid again on Easter it was really fun after Easter we decided that we wanted to go to Miami for a few days I think we spent a few days in Miami went back to the lake house went back to Miami went back to the Keys went back to Miami near the end we kind of just hopped around we're heading to the keys let's go we're in the car we're about 15 give or take minutes out from the keys hi this is marla you guys already know <laughs> that though this is my friend marla hi marla we do this stupid thing where we talk in baby it's voices it's such a problem during quarantine and we do it like so many times during a day that it just like comes natural but it's just so fun it spices up every conversation it does. if you don't talk like a baby at least a few times a week something's wrong <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of like on a mission because Marla's school dropped off ice cream So we're like not trying to like let it melt So we're like kind of like on X Games mode Kind of like Fast and Furious type shit We're like low-key in sport mode right now But like you didn't hear that from us But yeah, we're like kind of on a grind And my nails are so gross Oh my god, quarantine nails And quarantine hair And quarantine body <laughs> Yeah, quarantine body is not it But that's okay Because once I get home and start grinding Like you're either gonna come out of quarantine like super, super snatched snatched Skinny or skinny, like or like just more overweight than you were when you started, which is like we're we're that's on that where, second. That's where on the second out. half of the spectrum, yeah. right? Yeah. Now. <laughs> I was gonna say my weight, but I don't want to say that. So I came to Miami weighing one weight. I'm <laughs> leaving Miami weighing six pounds heavier, and that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. And I'm really insecure about it, so you don't want to talk about it, and it makes me cry. It's fine. I'm gonna stay at home, and then I'll come back whenever Marlo's dad lets me come back. Whenever Corona's like chilling, like big time chilling, then she's coming back. I'm coming back. But I can promise you, when you and I see each other, we're gonna be like, who are you? Like, you're looking snatched and Wait shit. Wait a second. Who are you? El policia. El policia. Well, I'm gonna see you guys when we get to the keys. It might be like low key chaotic because we're like gonna speed in the house, change, change, the put the ice cream away, like maybe like eat one of the ice. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and then we are going on the boat. Good times, tan lines. Bye. We back. This is Marla and I's room. It's been our room the whole quarantine. We are about to head on the boat, but I have to pee quick. This is my little boat outfit for the night. I'm gonna go pee. I got some skill, no doubt. You do be having. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Crank that, crank that. <laughs> Crank that, soldier boy. Soldier boy, tell. Whoa. <laughs> no shoes, no problem, say dog. Uh, life is best when shoes aren't required. Yeah. No. <laughs> Say hi. Oh. <laughs> hi. You're both in these today. Genius. Yeah. I'm gonna go make myself another waffle. Oh, I forgot we had waffles. My favorite every single one. <laughs> I like the one where you're like. 
I'm a little woman. Can I take a bite of that? Can I try it? Mm -hmm. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my goodness, it's a big bite. Hey, why'd you bite it like that? It's good. Mm-hmm. That's yummy. Mm -hmm. I like oatmeal, mom. Why do you think I eat it, bro? Sure, oh, I really like that one. Do that one. Okay. All right, I'm mow down on this. Up and out. Anything about me not wearing shoes, okay? Okay, I won't. I won't do it. Yeah. Josie, last day on the boat. Don't say that. I'm gonna cry. Oh, you went barefoot? in the water because it's really warm. I just want to go for a swim, so. Snack time, snack time, this is snack time. So good. I really dad's on a call, so I'm being warm with this. It's different than any other snack. Good morning. <laughs> Me. Good morning. It's 2.30 p.m. I was up <laughs> until 4.30 doing homework last night and and also, I'm pretty sure I did not vlog after we had like our afternoon snack. We took showers and then I was like so, so, so tired from the sun. So I took a nap, like a two hour nap. Yeah. And then we had a bonfire, drove around on the golf cart a little, did homework and went to sleep. And now we're here at 2.30 p.m. Good morning. Today is my last day with Mar. RIP the gang. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Yeah, basically that. We're gonna like go make some breakfast, pack our stuff up, and then head back to Miami. We're definitely gonna have to cop a sandwich from the grocery store because the grocery store sandwiches here are just so gassed. Like, and you know what? We're getting some chips too because you can't have a sub without chips. Frick no, you can't. I've been eating really, really bad, but when I get home, I'm eating strictly spinach. But we're gonna go make breakfast because I'm actually really hungry and it's 2.30 p.m. <laughs> you like my off-brand Versace robe? <laughs> Breaky time, breaky um, time. Here's our breakfast. Do you want water? Yes. One water for Ma. Here's your phone. This is for you. Packing up the car to head on to Miami. I'm wearing a tennis skirt for absolutely no reason. What is going on here? Marla is actually the CEO of using all the towels, guys. Like, what? These were all used by- this one was mine. And then the rest, hers. Anyways, like, why is this here? Excuse me, Tootsie. <sighs> why is this heavy? 4.30 and we're already eating again, but whatever. We just got done vibing, watching the sunset, eating our pasta. We're gonna go get McFlurries now because you know, we are balling out today. Literally what I should be doing right now, running. Go you, I wish. Actually, I'm gonna start going so hard tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow, but definitely Saturday. <laughs> I'm definitely starting soon. Why does this suck? I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you more. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> We gotta make flurries, the little baby kid sizes. And we're listening to Billy, I'm gonna get copyrighted, but it's so yummy, just so you know. Guys, it's officially move out day. R.I.P. the gay. But it was seriously such a blessing to be able to hop around to three different houses in quarantine. I definitely couldn't have done that here because my family only has one house. We're so blessed to have our house that we do. But I don't know, it was just amazing to be able to be quarantined with my best friend and go on the ocean, go on a lake, go on jet skis, be in the sun, still be getting my schoolwork done, and honestly kind of took a break from YouTube because that was just what I felt like what was best for me. That's just what I felt, because that's just what I felt like what, that's just, <laughs> because that's just what I felt was best for me at the time. I don't know. I've still just been kind of like healing mentally since I came home from college. I don't know. It was just good for me to take a break and not be filming myself. I get super self-conscious when I'm on camera because I just like pick out every little detail I don't like about myself. And then, I don't know, it's just toxic when I'm editing. So it was nice to not be on camera as much and not have to edit and stuff. 
yeah now we're back i need to talk more about the experience like in depth you may not know you may know if you watched my why i left college video i was not doing well mentally which is why i decided to do my second semester of college online and everyone ended up online anyways you also might know that marla unfortunately lost her best friend and boyfriend in february so we both just have been going through a really really tough time so being together was honestly i think the best thing for us we kind of just understood each other in a way that i don't think anyone else really could have because we understood when one of us would just break down crying it just it made sense to us it wasn't something like to criticize each other over we just did our best to find ways to make each other happy we did things that made ourselves happy it was like a really good growth period for both of us i feel like i just feel like without each other we wouldn't be in the mental state we are now I I know that we both obviously still struggle but and like obviously our situations were very different because we were going through two very different things but i don't know it was just good for both of us to have each other <laughs> is what i'm trying to say um <laughs> i just want to like go into detail about like what quarantine was like with marla um basically we ate like shit a majority of the time <laughs> and it was honestly good like i don't know if any of you guys have seen the movie eat love pray but if you haven't you should watch it she basically goes to three different countries and in one country she goes to Italy and she just eats everything that she wants and then she goes to India I think and she prays she like really gets gets in touch with like her spirit her spirit her faith her faith and then love in Bali she falls in love I'm pretty sure I don't know I wasn't really paying attention that well to the movie but I tried I don't know it was kind of like we had the whole eat love pray movie within two months in quarantine because we kind of ate whatever the heck we wanted to food makes both of us really happy and love we loved each other I FaceTime my family every single day. I spend time with Marla's family. They're a second family to me and I'm so thankful that they kind of took me in as their daughter during this time. And then the whole pray part, we both have kind of lost touch with our faith recently, but we've been trying to do our best to like get back into it and we prayed every night at dinner and I pray every night before I go to bed. So kind of like a little eat, love, pray action. The whole experience was just such a vibe, to say the least. I honestly could not be more thankful to have had this living experience. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm home now, why I decided to come home. We found out in the fall that my grandma was diagnosed with cancer. I guess my parents were kind of like keeping it from us, but I didn't really know like how much time she really like had left. So I saw her before I left for Florida. I honestly didn't think like she was getting worse because all I'd ever heard was that she was getting better and that the treatments were working but about two weeks ago my mom called me and let me know that the treatment stopped working for my grandma and they were gonna stop giving them to her everything just kind of went downhill really quickly i got to facetime her one day and that was the last time that she really even spoke to anyone because the next two days she just kind of slept because her pain meds were really strong because she was in so much pain that that was the best thing for her so i had already had my flight booked for friday i I really didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if she would still be here when I got back or not, but my mom called me, I think it was Tuesday night last week, and let me know that my grandma had passed away. I don't know. It just sucked, but it made me realize that I really needed to come home and be with my family and be here for my dad. The whole time, it was such a great experience, and I was happier than I'd been in a really long time, but there was one thing that was a little bit toxic for me, living with another girl my age. I basically have extreme body dysmorphia, and I really just do not like my body. I'm not confident in it, and I've gained a lot of weight since last year, and it's been really hard for me. Being with Marla, I was constantly comparing myself to her because we have two very different body types and we're the same height, so it was just hard for me to look at myself individually rather than comparing us, comparing my body to hers all the time, wishing I could look like her, wishing I could eat whatever I want and still look like her like she does. That was just a really toxic factor for me, so I was honestly grateful to be able to come home to work on myself in that aspect. I'm here, I'm working on myself now, I'm grinding. I've been working out twice a day, eating healthy. It's grind time. But that's basically what this whole experience has been like. I hope you guys like this video. I'm sorry I didn't vlog as much as you probably hoped I would. I'm not gonna promise that I'll be back fully on YouTube yet, but I'm gonna try my best. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. Yeah, bye guys.